transcription explanation of this design. It was done using this script, which uses a combination of these four different letter stems and these kinds of modifiers, which are dots and lines. So you combine a letter stem with the dots and lines to get the letter in the rows and columns. So here we have our first letter of our word, and this script is read starting at the bottom and then going counterclockwise, like a time traveler going back in time. So this is a shallow divot stem, so like this one here, this black line here. And that means our letter's in this row. And then there are lines attached to it. There's this one curvy line here, and then this line here, which attaches two places here and here. So if we count all the lines that attach to it, we have one, two, three, making it the letter S. And then we have this vowel. Smaller circles, like these two, are vowels, and they have different positions depending on what vowel they are and if they're attached to our consonant circle. So this is an A because it is outside our word circle, like this one here. So we have the S, A, and then we continue around. This is our next letter, and it is a completed circle inside the word circle, like this one. And there are one, two, three dots on it, making it an L. And then we have this vowel with a line going inwards, making it this green one, which is an I. And if we have a consonant and a vowel together, you read the consonant before the vowel. So that's what this bit says here. Consonants are read before vowels. And then our very last letter is a circle on the line of the word circle. So we're in the bottom row. And there are one, two lines ending on it, making it an X. So that would be that word here. So yep, S-A-L-I-X. Uh, so yeah, that's that design. I hope you like it. Bye.